so you too, it's your boy, King Taito, and I'm back for we to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as you always. Watch for the video. Carmen's boobie boogie exposed by a third woman who is a reality star on Baddie Central. The girl claimed Come that on, her man. and Big Boogie has been together for two plus years and that she recently found out Big Boogie was messing around with Carmen via internet. Now since then the reality star has been dropping receipts confirming that her and Big Boogie was indeed in a relationship. He DM'd her saying, Nah she don't, I'm grown but if you be my down low you be then stamp it. The girl said stamp, as long as you treat me like one though I don't want you to treat me like them other females that come and go. If you cool on that i'm yours papa big boogie responded understood that's my p for life now then she shared a text message between her and big boogie it says the natural me do i need to cancel my flight then the girl captioned the text message it says but do he love you carmen i'm ready to troll then another dm between her see this is what i always say this is what i always say like when it kind of cheating girls are the ones that are best at it because if this situation would have been reversed it would have been the girl saying like hey or the dude telling the girl, like, don't, uh, the dude telling the girl, even though it probably would have sounded weird, but if he was telling her, like, don't treat me like, 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 like the other dude that you got coming and going, treat me like, you know, treat me special, whatever, and she was doing that, this would never happen. This would never happen. But when you tell a girl this, they, they, they most of them would accept it for a certain amount of time. A certain amount of time. Like, if, if a, if a man is telling you, like, back, like, I got somebody, but she ain't tripping. I like I can still ride with you, and you telling him like don't this don't as long as he don't treat you like like the rest of that's coming and going, you cool and it's yours and all, all that other stuff. Why you can keep it like that? Why you can keep it like that? Like he never told you like I want to be in an open, uh, open relationship with you. Uh, 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 what is it called? Exclusive relationship with you. That where everybody knows about us, we're going to be posting each other, we're going to be going out on dates in the, in the daytime. Never said none of that. So, you were the side piece for two years. Keep your mouth shut. And Big Boogie says, he said, what you mean change? She said, my clothes? He responded, LOL, why you say that? And she responded back, they keep trying me. And then Big Boogie said, well, you belong to me. You know what to do. Then the girl posted up a picture of Carmen and Big Boogie recently. She said, when a dude posts ish like this, but in your guts in real life and on your line in real life, boy, F you and her respectfully done being silent. I'm deleting that ish, LOL. I'm not even about to play on this internet because see, I never care for clout. When you genuinely love and care for someone, who cares to post up when you and join that person in real life i got hella pits and videos and text messages and voice messages and all but do i care to tell the world no i got two years of memory i could care less about a clout and my first can continue to chase congratulations yeah she fake she fake this whole thing is a lie this whole thing is a lie i don't even <laughs> i don't even play on the, on the internet but you're playing on the internet you don't care about, about the clout because you're you're the person that's being loved in person. You don't care about being posted up because you're enjoying him in real life. He's really in your guts. You got videos and texts. You don't care to tell the world, but you're telling the world. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? See, this is why I'm telling for like, fellas. You can't do it. You can't do it. Not 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 confirming or denying that this is actually true. That hey. It can be all be old, but you never know. <laughs> but it's like, bro, as it's crazy, as it's, as it's crazy, like, if a nigga never told you, like, hey, I want to make you my my exclusive girlfriend where we're posting each other, we're doing us, everybody knows. Bro, keep your mouth shut. Keep, keep your pictures to yourself. Places, Miss YouTuber. So I'm guessing Big Boogie recently saw her messages that she posts. So he reached out to her via DMs. He said, What's your number? Because you got me effed up, thug. I just woke up, send your number. Then she took a screenshot of his DMs and she captured it and said, How you block it and then act for it again? Ask Carmen Goofy. Now, Big Boogie did respond because since day one did drop the receipts first, shout out to her. Y'all blogs ain't stopping nothing or talking about nothing. Who cares what y'all posting? We don't for sure. Life goes on. At this point, I feel like Carmen already know what she's getting into when yeah. she's messing with a rapper. She know she's not the only one and i don't think she cares i think she would have came out by now this is the third girl and carmen has yet to speak out about anybody she's damn carmen i ain't gonna lie bruh it's like <laughs> damn bruh this is this loki that's loki embarrassing though i ain't gonna catch you that's embarrassing bruh this is your basic this is basically your karma 
for taking Michi for granted. That's how I'm looking at it from the outside looking in. This is your karma for taking him for granted. Throwing a little shade here and there, but that's outside crazy. of that, she's still with him. And I think that's Hell why the no. girls are upset because she's the main girl being shown. And he confirmed that they are indeed together. And these girls are upset. Either you're going to play your position behind the scenes or you just leave. But exposing the situation ain't going to change nothing because Carmen is not leaving. Obviously, how many girls need to come? That is sad, though. That is sad. Like, yeah, he might be, he might be, you know, boldly or openly telling her, hey, this is what's going on. So, hey, nothing is behind your back, but I am going to still do me. But, Carmen, there, there are other people that will love you and not do that. You just got out of a whole, a whole marriage when a person was cheating on you, all, all type of things, doing all type of crazy things. This because it, it go, it went from behind your back to, the person telling you don't mean it. I mean, it's not really cheating then because of the, because he told you. But I don't know, man. At me, I'm not sharing, bro. I'm not sharing. I can't. I'm not doing that, bro. That like it's too many, you know, things going around that you can catch. I'm cool. You can you can catch something from kissing somebody and they're kissing somebody and they're kissing somebody and they're kissing like nah, nah, like. That's what, that's what I think about, bro. Like, one, I don't like to share. Two, I'm not trying to catch nothing. Mm -mm, I can't do it. I can't do realize it. Y'all think I comments down below. Let me know what y'all think when it comes to that. Corey did react to Carmen not being the only woman in Big Boogie's life. Uh-uh. uh, -uh. So <laughs> Listen, when all this shit unfold, I swear to God, stay on that side. That's all I'm going to say. Fuck that. Stay on that side, bitch. <laughs> I see it. It don't bother me. But you keep coming to the same shit. Ain't I'm looking at my screen right now. The most sent and all these little shit that pop up on TikTok live. They goofies. Yeah, but no. I need it. No, dead ass. I need it. Come in the same shit. I swear to God. All right, but anyway. All right, so cool. Why y'all be so caught up with my ex? Like, y'all be more focused on that shit than me. I be seeing y'all in the comments and shit. I, be, I know y'all fans. Listen, I know y'all fans and shit, but bro. God damn, y'all be on that, that. What the hell wrong with y'all? <laughs> what the fuck? I got a whole girl, bro. Like, y'all be so caught on that's my head. Way be ridiculous. Like, that's an ex for a reason. It's an example of what not to get to get the most. <laughs> I don't want to be reminded about no goddamn example, man. Leave me alone. I get it. I went through that shit already. Leave me the fuck alone. Y'all be tweaking. Bitch called me Diddy. That crazy. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I can't never get over that one, boy. Big call me. Ah, <laughs> uh, anything for a viral moment, bro. I swear to God, dog. Motherfucker seen that man Trini just see just call that nigga Diddy. <laughs> I fuck with it though. I no, I ain't gonna. I, well, we don't. I don't know. The thing that that Diddy's been accusing right now, I don't think I don't think we can put uh put Diddy on on Corey here. He got a lot of wild, wild allegations, bro. Wild ones. Oh, yeah, dance the party out. Y'all are funny as hell, boy. Queen Naja responds to someone that asks, this is a real question. When are you going to actually decorate CJ's room and give it more of his personality? The kid's room is so plain, but y'all stay shopping. Queen responded, one, why are you pocket watching? Two, CJ love his room the way it is. Three, why are you as an adult thinking of a child's room? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Shy the Greatest recently turned 24 years old. Facts, bruh. Fact. It's a kid. It's a kid. Not everybody wants all that extra out stuff all in their room. Besides this, my room is plain as hell. There's no posters up. There's no, there's, there's no quotes up. There's no uh no uh what, what's the what's the thing called like little uh no people have the lights in their room. It's none of that. Besides that little thing, that little white thing that that y'all probably see right there. If no, y'all don't even see it. it. It's very very in the tip of the coin. Like it's right there. If you can see that, that's the only little type of color little light that I have. Other than that. My room is plain as hell, bro, besides this.
And after she posted her birthday pictures, people started roasting her saying that she looked old and that the pictures are not it. Please take these pictures down. Her outfit and hairstyle look horrible. Well, Shy the Greatest did respond to someone's comment. They said, do you know your birthday shoot is all over TikTok? People are saying that your pictures are horrible, but they look beautiful to me. Shy the Greatest responded, I'm well aware my birthday photos are going viral. Good press or bad press, it pays bills. I also don't care what people think about me. I know I look the fuck good. So good that my crush asked me to send the photos to him separately. I love myself. Dub is not feeling people. People saying his girlfriend is only. I like the pictures. They they wasn't bad. People would just be extra for no reason. With him for money. You know what really bothers me? What? If I'm with like a bad female, right? And people would be like, oh, he's paying her to be with her. Mm -hmm. You know how cheap I am? I will literally tell a girl when we go out to eat, don't order no drink. <laughs> don't order, get a water. Because you paying for that. And I stand on that. Not for real. I got the bills. Honestly. But that, you get a Shirley Temple, you're paying. That is that, that is crazy though, cause like, bro, like, y'all just said people were saying the same thing about uh about uh, Jay Cinco and his girlfriend, but it's like, bro, at least the the difference between them two, you don't see Dub one, you she's not being posted, <laughs> besides the videos that he did with her and a uh, TikTok here and there with, with uh with TT and the rest of the friends, you do not see him post her, and you ain't never seen him buy her anything. So how could you say he, he's being used for money? And look, that goes prime example of like you know them uh, them podcasts that be saying, oh, if you look a certain way, you got to deal with this. If you look like this, you gonna have to take this and deal. Like no, just because you think somebody is, uh, I guess a low number on on the scale to you, does not mean that they're being treated like that. Just because you think, all right, we're gonna use the because this is his this his subject. Just because if you look at Dub like a five or four or whatever, does not mean that he looks at himself as that and does not mean that she looks at him as that. It does not mean that he's going to tolerate somebody treating him as that. Just because you look at a, a person at, at a certain way does not mean that they're allowing themselves to be treated like that. You can see somebody and like, you know, with them podcasts, they're like, oh, if you're, if you, if you're fat, <laughs> if you're fat, if you get somebody, one, you're probably won't get the money, which is crazy. Two, if you do, they're gonna cheat on you, they're gonna do them, and you put that set the hell the hell no. I wish I would, bro. <laughs> what <laughs> I wish the F I would, bro. What are you talking about, bro? So trying to say that she that just because she looks good and you look at him as not that good looking, I guess, that does mean he if he get a uh, good looking woman she that he's been used. No. No, people gotta stop judging people like that, bro. Stop doing that, bro. Like how you? <laughs> that is crazy. That is just crazy. That. I literally tell everybody, I'm not gonna pay because this right here costs three twenty nine. This whole thing, right? You think I'm gonna pay four twenty nine for you to get this little cup? Congratulations to Karina and Flo. They welcomed their baby girl into the world. Lodi came by to support Flo and Karina. Also, Jazz show love and congratulate Flo and Karina as well. When you got supposed to eat the umbilical cord? Eat the ability cord. I heard that before. That's horrible. I'm gonna go back to the front. Sorry. Eat the ability cord. Umbilical cord. The cord that attaches from the mom to the baby. Who finna eat that? Baby, how the baby gets the food and stuff. Oh, that's how the baby eats. Yeah. I'm gonna say the baby won't be eating. I have heard that before. I have heard. I've heard people put either they grind it out and they'll put they'll put the uh the the thing in food and drink. Yeah, they're the only two I've heard. Food or, or something to drink. But that's just crazy. That is just crazy, bro. But they probably was doing that back, back in the day. Back, back, you know, back, 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 back. <laughs> Before real civilization. But hell to the hell no. We got to eat that. I I would never uh -huh. know. They going to be eating McDonald's if eat the ability cord is crazy. Hallie Bailey was asked this. I've been seeing a lot of people ask me if I'm still... 100 percent vegan because i've been showing you guys uh me cooking a little bit and the answer is not anymore and the reason being is i think i told some of you guys that when i got you want some more okay that when i was pregnant i had just like started craving meat and i was vegan for 13 years up until then damn and I honestly, I was just like, well, I'm going to just give my body what it wants right now because I'm doing a really hard job. 
of growing a human. And I also wanted to make sure Halo was getting the proper nutrients and things he needed. Still love vegan food. I eat it like still mostly all the time. It's just if I have like a inkling or craving for chicken or something, I'll eat it. But I don't eat a lot of meat. But it's like if I want it, I'm gonna have it and then that's it. And then yeah. But I just wanted to answer because I've seen a bunch of you guys asking if I still am. But um, yeah, I was looking it up and I see so many women like me who were vegan for years and years once they got pregnant is like out the window <laughs> <laughs> them cravings be too strong that's why them cravings be kicking their ass that's why boy make sure you like and subscribe about 200k